by attorney. We stand, and for us here that are live, we stand very obviously right on the edge of things. At this gate, this portal, that is not only the thing that separates what's on the inside from what's on the outside, but it acts as a magical connector. It's both in and out. It's both and neither. And the closer you get to these places of mystery, these edge places where the things are thin, magic can happen. Healing can happen. So we stand, all of us together, and we allow our separate personalities to kind of melt a little bit so that we forget who we are. We stop being I, 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 and we start being we all together with one mind and one healing purpose. Life can get very difficult when we haven't got a road close to sign. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so we start. We start, we've got five, four or five very simple rituals by which we make this vigil be. And the first is one minute of silence where we hold the light. Now this physical light is of course a physical light on its own and it's also a symbol of the light that we hold inside us. Whether it be our passion, our creative fire, the light of love, whatever we see the light inside. So we hold this light as a symbol and we hold the light inside as our own light. And in that minute's silence, I'm sorry, this is making me giggle. <laughs> In that minute silence, what we wish for is that for all the beings in all the worlds to be truly in liberty. I, I was going to ask you, Ian, if you are doing a job. Could you hold the light card? I will ding a bell. And then I'll ding another bell.
these months to honour the outcast, 15,000 souls that are buried beyond these gates. And also we honour the spirit of the Winchester geese, the memory if not the bodies of whom are held here in this place. The women of Brussels who were licensed by the church to apply their prostitute trade but when they died they weren't allowed a Christian burial. Everybody in this graveyard was an outcast of some degree and we can I think a lot of us that's why a lot of us are attracted here because we can relate to that outcast nature so many of us have got a bit of outcast of our own selves that we don't like, that we hide away from other people that we're ashamed of. We expect anybody to drag out that stuff. Um, but just each of us quietly to honour those parts of us that we don't like, honour the outcast both outside and inside, both living and dead and those that are yet to be. The next part of the vigil is called the act of binding and loosing. This is where we hang our gifts on the gate. We traditionally bring ribbons, but people can bring anything they like to hang on the gates, messages, flowers, whatever you like. And of course you can come here 24 seven because unlike the garden, they're always here. All you have to do is be on your own connection. But when we come here on vigil night, if you've got your own gift, please feel free to hang it. And if you haven't, the vigil provides you with a ribbon so that you can hang something on the gates. If you'd like to share them around, I'll take one. And then if anybody wants to take one that wants one, of course. Oh no, that's just one of those two. There's one coming in. There's a bunch coming in. what we do this is part of this wave that we have of coming into the gates and going away again so we come forward we step towards the gates and we tie our ribbons in the, at the same time as we say what we call an echo prayer which is not really a prayer but it's a poem that really describes what we're doing as we do it and we repeat that echo prayer five times I will say it and the people who know the prayer will say it. And if you people who don't know the prayer, if you want to repeat any of the words or anything that you hear and you want to send back to echo that, echo those words, please join in. So we're just going to finish. Has everybody got a ribbon that wants one? Here, lay your hearts, your flowers, your flowers, your fingers, your thumbs, your mishy your mums. Your mums. Here, hang your hopes, Here, your, ups, your dreams, your, dreams your, might have been, your might have beens, your locks, your, locks, your keys, keys, your mysteries. Your mysteries. Here, lay your hearts, your Here, flowers, your, hearts, 
your book of hours, your fingers, your, your fingers, your thumbs, your, thumbs, your, thumbs, your mums, your mums, here hang your hopes, your, hopes, your, dreams, your dreams, your might of be, your locks, your keys, your mysteries, here lay your heart, your, hearts, your flowers, your book of hours, your fingers, your thumbs, your mushy mums, here hang your hopes, your dreams, your might of be, your locks, your keys, your mysteries, Mysteries. Your mysteries. Here lay your heart, your, heart, your, your flowers, heart, your, flowers, your, book your book flowers, flowers, your fingers, your, fingers, your thumbs, your, thumbs, your, your mystery mums. Here hang your hopes, your, hopes, your, dreams, your dreams, your mighty beans, your, 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 your locks, your keys, your, keys, your, your mysteries. mysteries. Here lay your heart, your flowers, your, flowers, your, flowers, your book of hours, your, your, your fingers, your thumbs, your, thumbs, your, your mission mums. mums. Here hang your hopes, your hopes your dreams, your, dreams, your, your mighty beans, beans, your locks, your keys, keys your, your mysteries. Mission mums. Here hang your hopes, your dreams, your mighty beans. Your keys, your We don't untie them, but what we do, having given something of ourselves to the gates, we then liberate it, that thing. Uh, we've lost Natalie. Oh, she's back. When we do the sacred offerings, we will open the sacred offerings with goose works, goose words, and also close the sacred offerings and then have whoever would like to come forward and say whatever it is they feel they have to say, as long as it's got something to do with crossbones, it's not an open mic, um, then that's what we're going to do. So first of all, can I? Oh my dilly days! <laughs> I'd like to improvise with the car alarm. Can, okay. right, we've got one volunteer <laughs> who's going to improvise with the car alarm. Who else would like to offer some? Danny, have you got something you'd like to do? Yeah. Danny, Ian, yeah, yes, you'd like sure. to. Day five hundred, not time. tonight. Time. Okay, so we've got at least three. If the Spirit moves you and you feel suddenly, oh, I'd like to do that. I'd like to offer something. While we're here doing this, then please pray. And I'm going to start with some goose words and try not to have a head up. 
Yes, I've been here before, dear. Oft times in chase and circumstance. I lay with Master Geoffrey at the tabard, making dalliance before wending on his pilgrimage to tell a tale of Canterbury. And I rode out beside him as the child of Mary Overy went riding for a vision, a vision of humanity, man, God, and beast communing for one moment in eternity and the healing of the sick and the questioning divinity who asks herself, what am I to permit such wanton misery? And compassion for all souls who dwell in the shadows of mortality, compelling her to take on very flesh of that infirmity till she's born a crafty whore, stewed in a southern hostelry, and using all her wherewithal to take a pilgrim's fancy and lay with him and play with him and open eyes to see the goddess that on judgment day shall stand by man and make his plea. And I was in that miller's wife who pushed her to Absalom, who kissed him many a wench's lips, but Mary, such a hairy one. You don't know me yet, dear. You will, dear. I promise you. I am a tricksy tart, dear. My aim is to astonish you. Wonderful. Wonderful. Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Melanie. We didn't hear the alarm at all. I know. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> Transporting us. <laughs> wow. Ian? Sure. <laughs> Seasonal poem. Um, to do with the change of our seasons and dealings with the underworld and the London Underground. Um, poem called Autumnal. At the gate to the underworld, East Finchley too, where the trains anapestically clatter and thrum, I gave her the last rose of summer to hold in remembrance. She bowed her head started to hum and pull tune. All your lovely companions have faded and gone. But I'll keep you to sweeten the trip. Yeah.
Piku takes up a staff and the old open shield takes a battery. We shared a beer on the platform and Their glowing devices near drowned in the gloom to be ferried far under the river and further below. Mind the gap, said the Tanoi, and mind how you go. Have your arms. Um, this one's a uh, spirit of regeneration and also the mycelial connections going on underground, even though it's everything underground is flying out. Winter. <coughs> we'll go down three times. Mycelial lovers with multi-sexed others, we touch with our tendrils, entangled in ether and earth and in time and in bodies in pleasure and pain, twisting twine tied in lines we deliver that tether dimensions in knots in forever. Love in the fingers that reach forth with ardor, love in the heart as it boils in its fervor, love in the stories we tell to each other, love in the dendrites that dance as they measure mycelial lovers with multi-sexed others we touch with our tendrils entangled in ether and earth and in time and in bodies in pleasure and pain twisting twine tied in lines we deliver that tether dimensions in knots and forever love in the fingers that reach forth with ardor love in the heart as it boils in its fervor love in the stories we tell to each other Love in the dendrites that dance as they measure mycelial lovers with multi-sexed others we touch with our tendrils entangled in ether and earth and in time and in bodies in pleasure and pain twisting twine tied in lines we deliver that tether dimensions in knots in forever. Love in the fingers that reach forth with ardor. Love in the heart as it boils in its fervor. Love in the stories we tell to each other. Love in the dendrites that dance as they measure. Love in the sphincter that holds it together. How you Does anybody else want to offer anything here? Okay. Let me ask Jackie, are you in the Zoom vigil going to leave after we've finished this or are you going to stay till the end? Can we stay till the end? Of course you can stay till We'd the love end. to stay till the end. Sanna's got something she wants to say. <clears throat> so today was uh, one of those special moments that happens with the crossbones and the green man, see, there we go. <laughs> the green man has always made me cry when he's come to the gates, but today he made me cry again with the joy that he was coming to bless our God. Thanks, Anna. 
<laughs> Three, four, let war be waged without tear down the door and out the prison wall. Let it all fall down to be born again in liberty. And let within the dream of skin, shit evil is without sin cast the stone, for we all have our stake in the sum of human misery, our misses and scraps and clap traps and niggled in, naggled in, fibberty, gibberty, artsy, fartsy, meansy, queenie. Oh, how nasty, minister. What's your private part, see? Party, political, put piggy in the middle, hump and dump and jump on him, fill him full of estrogen, put a time bomb under him, roast pork and bacon fat. How'd you like to chew on that? Down me ministry of sound, where we do we tribal dances, dear. What comes from underground isn't subject to policy. <laughs> we must have given you a start to find me so lysergic, dear. When it comes to stealing hearts and healing ribs between the hemispheres, there's not a trick I wouldn't pull to entice you. We come to the very last bit of our vigil, and this is the bit where once again we come as close as we possibly can to the gates. We touch the gates or we touch somebody who's touching the gates, and we offer two blessings. The first blessing is the blessing of the Cobocos, the South American tribe that was given a blessing to John Constable. And the very last blessing is the goose blessing. We use gin as, as our favorite. Because, like the outcasts, it was very seriously looked down on. So we take it and reclaim it and we make it holy. With some gin going to the inside and the circle around the outside and connecting us again, we're all standing here together. And what we say, I say first and then you repeat, one line or phrase at a time. Life. Life. Health. 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 Happiness. 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 Open pathways. Open pathways. Life. 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 Health. 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 Happiness. 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 Open, Open pathways. Open pathways. Health. 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 Peace, peace in the spirit, spirit. Love, love, in the love, in the love in the heart, love in the heart, health in the body, in the body. peace in the spirit, love in the heart. It is this that we wish. It is this that, that we wish. We wish. For, ourselves, for ourselves, for ourselves, for our friends, for our friends for our family, family, for all our brothers and sisters, for all, for all our, our brothers, brothers and sisters, the goose and the crow. For all our siblings, and all our relations, and all our relations. It is this that we wish. It is this that we wish for ourselves, for our friends and family, for our friends and family, for all our siblings, for the goose and the crow, and for all our relations. May it be so. May it be so. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Goose may never be hungry. Goose may never be thirsty. Goose may never be thirsty. Goose may your spirit fly free. Goose may your spirit fly free. And so she does. stammery work um it, it can be very difficult 
without the, the road closures. I would like to just remind you, as I said before, I couldn't warn everybody who comes to the vigil. I'm going to start a, a newsletter. I'm going to start a vigil newsletter whereby I write and remind you and give you any information about what's going to be happening and so on and so forth. If you'd like to, to, to receive that newsletter, please put your name and legibly put your email address on the piece of paper. Jackie, you've got my email address, so you can give it to anybody who wants to join in on the Zoom vigil, and I'll be writing to you before next vigil. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. Before you. you leave, <coughs> I would like to advertise the new collecting plate. There's nothing like some shit plastic Halloween tax <laughs> to produce some wonderful fun. We usually have the um, pirate's hat. I can't find it. So if anybody's got anything to offer for towards the expense of running the vigil, I'm going to leave this. Well done, Dave. I'm going to leave this plate. place here. Very much indeed. Thank you for being here with us. Yay, we made it. Thank you, everyone on Facebook, for persevering. Thank you, everyone here. Hello, Bill. Hello, Ruth. Hello, Doug. Hello. Before, before we end, because the Zoom vigil is also our own vigil, has anybody got anything they would like to share? Um, that they would have shared during the sharing part. Does anybody want to say anything or share anything? It's fine if you don't. I just want it, I don't want us to end up being like that we're just watching. We need to be able to also express things if we want to. No, I'm fine. No, you're all right. What about you, Doug? Do you want to say anything? No, no. no. You're happy? What about you, Bill? Are you happy? If you don't, if you don't say anything, I'll assume you're happy. Hopefully Facebook's also happy. So <laughs> I shall I read one poem before we end? Mm. I've got one poem that I thought I might read. Let me go and find it and see whether it's a good thing to read quickly. Because we used to, for people who don't know who are on Facebook, what we used to do is split apart when the sharing of poems and things happened. We used to um, that we used to not be with the vigil in London anymore but it's just so lovely isn't it to stay connected for the whole thing if we can and I know that the signal is a bit weird and it's all you know it's a bit strange sometimes um, but I think it's worth persevering just to have the connection of that but we are still our own thing so so just for all of us to be assured that we are our own vigil as well and it might be that sometimes they they haven't got a signal at all and they can't get through or it's so bad that we have to split apart and then we will do our own vigil so if you if you think of things you'd like to share ever bring them and then there might be space or you can share them now at the end so I thought I'd read just one I'm just going to read one poem because it is almost hello mass and Sawain and all those things this is from the cure for sorrow by Jan Richardson a book of blessings for times of grief this is called I've immediately lost it of course because I'm trying to tell you what it's called hang on a minute It is hard being wedded to the dead. It is hard being wedded to the dead. They make different claims, offer comforts that do not feel comfortable at first. They do not let you remain numb. Neither do they allow you to languish forever in your grief. They will safeguard your sorrow, but will not permit that it should become your new country, your home. They knew you first in joy, in delight. And though they will be patient when you travel by other roads, it is here that they will wait for you. Here they can best be found, where the river runs deep with gladness, the water over each stone singing your unforgotten name. Mm. 
Nice. There. So thank you everyone for being here. I'm going to end the Facebook Live now. So bye bye Facebook. It's been lovely sharing the time with you. Bye. And I'm going to stop the recording. Bye, the recording. <laughs> Is it stopped? No, it's not stopped. Oh. Whoa.